There's no shortage of events happening this weekend in Waco. Celebration continues at Magnolia. Baylor's taking on Texas, and for the first time in Waco history, Dia de los Muertos will be celebrated with a parade and a festival. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza, she's in the studio tonight with more on the event. Noelle. Adam, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a Hispanic holiday commemorating loved ones who have passed away. Although it sounds like a solemn day of mourning, it's actually a joyful celebration, one you can take part in tomorrow evening. Dia de los Muertos, a tradition that dates back more than 2,000 years. We honor our uh, lost loved ones. We kind of remember them as they were in life, uh, how they impacted our lives. November 1st and 2nd are celebrated by building altares or home altars called ofrendas. We'll put pictures of them. We'll place uh, offerings that they enjoyed when they were alive. Things like if they liked Coke, uh, if they like um, like breads and, and sweets, we'll place those on the ofrenda as well. Personally for me, um, this is the time that I can think about my grandparents who have passed and it's just something that we hold dearly to our hearts during this time. Saturday's event allows the community to celebrate this Hispanic holiday with costumes, music, <laughs> arts, vendors and food. We wanted to have a representation of this culture and this festival at a larger scale. Bridging the gap. We're not just Magnolia, we're not just Baylor, you know, there's so many more people out there and so many more people that have so much input to this town and so it's just a great way to bring everybody together. By sharing culture and tradition. Having that ability to share that culture and share that, that idea and that festival with, it, with the greater Waco area, it's something that we're really, you know, proud of. The parade kicks off tomorrow at 4 p.m., then the festival follows. The event is free to attend. You can find out more information on our website, fox44news.com. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.